as a division, and that's the central question among all Democrats everywhere. What is next for him? But the answer is largely up to Bernie Sanders. He's campaigning tomorrow in Pennsylvania. There's every reason to believe he will stay in this race through the end of the primary calendar in June. Why wouldn't he? He has money and he has the support, but he needs to start winning big. Democratic leaders are increasingly concerned about his tone. They're also worried about the damage he'll inflict for Hillary Clinton for the fall campaign. The race for the Democratic nomination is in the home stretch and victory is in sight. Hillary Clinton looking ahead. A triumph at home in New York, cementing her position once again as the likely Democratic nominee. An intense battle with Bernie Sanders suddenly giving way to an olive branch. And to all the people who supported Senator Sanders, I believe there is much more that unites us than divides us. Sanders insists he's not going anywhere, telling supporters in a fundraising appeal today, we still have a path to the nomination, and our plan is to win the pledged delegates in this primary. But just saying it doesn't make it so. The math, always a challenge, is now a firm roadblock for Sanders. Those big crowds who rallied across New York raised expectations for a punishing 16-point defeat. Tonight, Clinton leads by 253 pledged delegates. With superdelegates, she moves even closer to the magic number of 2383, needed to clinch the Democratic nomination. Sanders' advisors concede the campaign fell short. We're a little farther behind in delegates than we hope to be. After a raucous election night rally at Penn State University filled with blistering attacks on Clinton. Secretary Clinton has given speeches behind closed doors to Wall Street firms for $225,000 a speech. Must be a pretty good speech. A subdued Sanders arrived home to Vermont, where he said he intended to recharge and rest, but not rethink his campaign. No, we think we have the message uh, that is resonating throughout this country. We have come a long, long way. Uh, we have taken on the entire a democratic political establishment. The democratic establishment is growing restless, worrying Sanders could be a spoiler by attacking Clinton's honesty and integrity. Jennifer Palmieri, communications director for Clinton, told reporters Sanders has been destructive and is not productive to Democrats, particularly suggesting Clinton is corrupt. A line of attack Republicans are already seizing on. For now, Clinton is taking a more subtle approach. Under the bright lights of New York, we have seen that it's not enough to diagnose problems. You have to explain how you'd actually solve the problems. But making clear, her eye is once again on November. Donald Trump and Ted Cruz are pushing a vision for America that's divisive and frankly dangerous. The Clinton campaign is pivoting ever so gently privately to the fall campaign. After next week's contest, advisors believe they will have an insurmountable lead in pledged delegates. But there is a sense of urgency here. She needs to start repairing her image. Her negative attributes outweigh her positive ones by 24 points in a recent poll. If she does become the Democratic nominee, Jake, she's far more bruised than she ever imagined she would be.